Sega. Alright, here it is, 200 gigabyte RetroPie image. Whew, that's big. But you might be saying 86, 86 games is not a lot of games, and you'd be right. Um, there's some 128 gigabyte images out there, you know, with 10,000 games. I've actually seen a 32 gigabyte, but it has a lot of those old school games. So that's exactly the reason why is this is fully loaded with a lot of CD games. Um, just right off the bat, a large collection on the Sega CD is taking up a ton of space here. So uh, PC Engine CD as well, 58 of those, and PC Engine or CD games, TurboGrafx CD as well. Those are all big CD games. And then Sega CD, which I think I passed, there we go, 138 titles here. Um, so that's taken up a ton, a ton of the space here. So um, that's where a lot of it is. Um, there's actually no video snaps on this image either. It's just a, uh, a picture image with a box art, JPEG, and the uh, logo. Um, it boots up into card crazy theme, but it has a bunch of Dwayne Hurst themes on here, like this one here. It has Sterling, it has um, Green Alicious, uh, Box Alloy. And um, it's beautiful. You get the magazines here, you get the box, and you get these cool little tokens on the left on the wheel, vertical wheel instead of horizontal. So some cool customization there. So uh, before we get into the image, a couple things you want to know is um, when you first boot up the image, the first thing you want to do is go to RetroPie menu here, go to the RAS Pi config, go to advance, and you want to expand the file system. If You have to do that on this image. You have to, have to. If you want your controller to work properly, give it a quick reboot, and then your controller is going to work. The other thing is it does come with background music, so um, if you want to delete that, go into File Manager, or you can SSH into your Pi via the network, and you can edit, add, delete, whatever you want to do with the sound, uh, or you can just leave the music on there. I've removed moved it for this review, so there's no, you know, things that might block out my voice and you can understand properly. But typically, you'd be having music playing right this moment. As far as the type of music, um, it's gaming related uh, music. Now, uh, let's go through this thing, check it all out. It does come with favorites, last played collections is set up, RetroPie menu, arcade set. So you got 1,064 arcades. Within here, you have a CPS directory that I just went in here. Here's one way to access your CPS 1, 2, and 3 games Capcom play system. And then your non-Capcom play system games are in here. And uh, as you can see, it's got all the classics, Alien vs. Predator, uh, Battletoads, um, Contra, uh, all sorts of stuff, Dragon Ball Z, Drift Out, um, a, lot, a lot of the regular arcade, decent arcade set. You know, I'd say it's you know uh, a good arcade set. It's not lacking. It's pretty much all there. Um, Jackie Chen games. It's going to have all your Street Fighter games. It's going to have... Um, all your Mortal Kombat's as well, and uh, it's going to have your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, NBA Jams, and then lastly, uh, Rampages, and then when you get down to WWF, you're going to have your wrestling games, your Snow Bros, 1 and 2, Super Contra, um, all the good stuff here, the Simpsons, the reverse systems for Nintendo, and WWF, and X-Men, so a uh, lot to choose from here. Daphne, you get all seven games. Uh, you usually only see, you know, Dragon's Lair 1 and 2, maybe Space Ace. So to see the other ones on here, nice to see. Neo Geo 140, pretty standard. You're going to get your, you know, Metal Slugs, your King of Fighters, things like that. Uh, Neo Geo Pocket, only eight, only a few titles there. Neo Geo Pocket Color, um, not uh, 37 on here. Uh, Vetrix 15, Atari 2600, massive collection here. They don't take up a lot of space, but, you know, for those of you Atari fans, look no further. Atari 7800, 57, Atari Lynx 76, Game Gear 259, including a folder here called GGH, GGH standing for Game Gear Hacked Games, you got a total of four there, so you got 258 games plus the folder, which has six, so it's actually like 265, something like that, um, Sega SG 1062, no hacks for that, 
Sega Master System 276, no hacks on that. Sega Genesis, nice to see Genesis instead of uh, Mega Drive. And uh, this has not only hacked games on it here, which you're seeing this more and more regularly on a lot of images. They're not a huge deal. Some people like to play them. Some people think they're a waste of space. Um, but Genesis isn't taking up that much space. And then these are unreleased games. So you got unreleased games as well. Sometimes people put hacks and unreleased games in the same folder. This one, they just kind of separated it. And then you have all the standard games. Moving along, you get Sega CD. Again, this is uh, you know, what I mentioned in the beginning of this video, which is this is where a ton of that 200 gigabyte space is being eaten up at. Um, we're gonna get to Nintendo 64 in a little bit, and that actually has 21 games. So you know, a lot of these um, higher graphical, higher data eating games, uh, consuming games are um, on the CD end. Not in there's no, actually no Dreamcast on here, which is a CD based system. Uh, so all the CD games are gonna be in your Sega CDs and your PC Engine CD type titles. Sega 32X, 31, pretty standard. Nintendo Game & Watch, 55 standard. Game Boy, 563. A few extras, because you got some hack games here. So those are gonna be some of your extras and then the entire collection. Game Boy Advance, again, some hack games for your pleasure um, or for your displeasure, depending on who you are. And Game Boy, there you go, Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color, no hack games here, but uh, you know the full collection. Virtual Boy, 22. NES, you are gonna get your hacks and you're gonna get some unreleased games as well. So there you go. Back, back, family computer disk system. No hacks, but a total of 79. Super Nintendo, you are gonna get your hack games. You are gonna get your Star Fox 2 on here as well. Um, there's also a collection for SNES Classic and uh, NES Classic, but that's gonna be in a different folder. This folder is just the hacks, unreleased, and then the full collection of Super Nintendo. Super Famicom, no hacks, but 488. That's a larger collection than normal. Some people kind of omit a lot of these games. Nintendo 64, this is what I'm talking about, only 21. Um, I feel like with a 200 gig, you could probably get a little bit more of these on there, but, uh, you know, oh, you have, and it, you have Last Impact, Super Mario 64, and you do have Super Mario, Super Mario Odyssey, and you do have Super Mario um, GoldenEye as well. Um, Golden Knight does not run well at all. The Super Mario hacks do run uh, decent. Um, so cool to see those on there, um, especially those who don't want to go through, um, you know, getting them online and adding them later. TurboGrafx-16, 94. So nice there. TurboGrafx-CD, C D. quite a bit here. Um, CD games take up a lot of space. So there you go. PC Engine, quite a quite a collection here. And you can see all the artwork is scraped. So that's nice to see. This, this directory in particular is well scraped. So wow, all the way to the bottom, okay. PC Engine Super CD-ROM 2. So you don't see this very often. This is definitely another differentiation how this image is different than uh, some of the other ones out there. So if you're into this, uh, you don't see that very often. Super, super graphic CD, a few good ones there. PlayStation, now I would say this would be the on the top three differentiators is a huge PlayStation collection. 95 altogether, Apocalypse, Battle Arena, Bloody Roar 1 and 2, Crash Bandicoot 1 through 3, Doom. Final Fantasy 7, Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2, Heart of Darkness, Mega Man collections, NFL and NBA games, Primal Rage and Pepsi Man, Quake 2, R-Type, Rival Schools, Spider-Man, Star Wars, Street Fighter EX2+, Plus, and EX2, Tempest, Simpsons Wrestling, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and X-Men's, and ending with Yusha. So, big collection there. Capcom Classic is going to have all your Capcom Classic games. I believe this is primarily CPS 1, 2, and 3 type games. That's another way to access them in, in addition to the arcade directory. Castlevania, all your Castlevania games. CPS 1, 2, and 3 can also be individually accessed here in the collections. Donkey Kong games, everything from the original arcade game to the family computer system game to Game Boy, all in there. Final Fantasy, all your RPG needs. Definitely can consume a lot of time there and uh, see the game evolve through the different iterations. Mega Man, whew. A lot of Mega Mans for you Mega Man fans. And Metal Slug. Not just on Neo Geo, but Game Boy Advanced. 
All right, does not have the PlayStation version though, which is fine. I, I, I rarely ever use that. If you got the originals, uh, this one is plenty good. All right, just about done there. This one is Neo Geo, okay. Street Fighter, massive SF collection. And then custom collections, this is where all your hacks are gonna be as well as your uh, NES Classic and SNES Classic with Star Fox 2 in there, yep. So NES Classic, SNES Classic, all the hacks in the top and then the last three are unreleased. Genesis, N NES, and SNES. Which brings us all the way back to all games, 86, 86. Um, I think that's a lucky number, right? Two numbers in a row. So as you saw, really laggy on the pie. If you want to play this, I have a separate video on how to do it on the uh, computer. Check that video out. Play it. Much better. Much better for me. So there you have it, the 200 gigabyte image. Um, as far as the 200 gigabyte images, I only know about two, or th I only know about two really well working ones. This one and Mad Little Pixel release one like over a year ago. And uh, this one is an updated version of that from the looks of it. Um, I would say that the N64 collection is a little different here, and this one has a lot more CD-based games. Also, the Mad Little Pixel one, I believe, had like six or seven Dreamcast games, which this one does not. Um, but it's an older version of Retro Pie, and uh, it also had a track mode on it. This one, I do not believe, has an a track mode. Yep, so no track mode. So those are the big differentiators between the two 200 gigabyte images that I know that work out there. I've seen a couple drop that I couldn't get to run, um, so be careful about some of the other. I mean, it sucks to have to download such a large file and then realize that it no longer works or you're having issues with it. So this one's definitely solid. Um, back to where I was going with all of this was, is it, as far as a 200 gigabyte image, it's a solid A. If in my mind, it's probably the best one out there unless you build your own. Um, as far as like, if you were to add it into the 128 gigabyte series, I would probably, I would actually prefer some of the 128 gigabyte images out there over this one. Um, the extra space in here, I don't think was utilized to its fullest potential. Um, you know, I would rather, in my mind, my perf my perfect scenario would be to buy two 128s, have a 128 PS1 only image, and then having a 128 kind of uh, have all the other systems image. And to me, that would bring me more pleasure, and I'd rather have that set up overall than this one. So when it comes to all the images out there, I'd actually give this one just a B. I was a little disappointed in it. No video snaps, no Dreamcast, not the full N64 collection. Um, and then it's missing some of the old, old school, like Amiga, uh, Commodore 64, and some other systems that are really easy to add to just have them there to kind of make it complete. Uh, maybe some MS-DOS games, maybe some Scum VM, stuff like that. I mean, I feel like when you're talking to such a large image, you're gonna be able to get that kind of diversity. And uh, this one was not that diverse. Like to me, the diversity was the Daphne and the, and the, and the CD games. But I feel like you could have pushed the limit a little bit more, stuff some more stuff on there. Maybe Nintendo DS. Like it would be cool to have Mario Kart on here, Super Mario DS. Even just like the top 10 DS games would be a really nice addition to this. And I think that the 200 gigabyte allows you to you know, stuff some of those extra things on there. So this is a rant of, of my thing, but that's why I would only give it a B at best with all the other options out there. But again, what I was saying, if you missed it from before, is from a 200 gigabyte, it's probably one of the best ones out there that's pre-made. Um, somebody had uh, you know gone out and made a purpose-built one for. So let me know what you guys think. This is just what I think. And uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, we'll catch you on the next.